hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to paint two greeting card with some simple flowers and simple messages in it i'm using a5 size watercolor sheet of 3 gsm so let's start with the first one so for the first one i'm going to create few circles uh, so basically i'm going to create a bunch of flower and for that i need some circles so i started with bigger circle on the lower side so i started with bigger circle on the lower side and smaller circle on the upper side so something like that and then i'm going to attach all these with the stems and leaves so that is something uh, we needed as of now so that that's it for now and uh, let's start painting so i'm using very light shade of purple color and i'm filling all the circles that we have so i'm starting with the light shade of colors so you can use any light shade so let's say for example if you want yellow color flower so you can start with yellow shade first very light shade of yellow and then you can incorporate red and orange color something like that so i started with purple color so these are my flowers now i'm going to attach all these with the stems and leaves together so i'm using size 8 round brush and i'm using my tip of brush to paint some stems and leaves so for this one i'm using a smaller leaf these are last minute greeting cards so if you don't have time to buy any greeting card or if you don't have time to create something difficult so you can paint all these greeting cards easily at the last moment few leaves in between and more leaves towards the upward direction and the lower two flowers i'm also adding sepals so i have mixed deep green and sap green together you can use any shade of green now let's finish the flowers now so i'm wetting the flower area again with the clean water so i'm wetting the area again So once you have added the water now I'm going to add dots of pink color so I'm adding dots of pink color and as my area is wet it is going to spread a little bit so the density of do dots is high at the bottom of the circle and less towards the other area so I'm keeping this rule same for all the circles that we have so i'm adding pink color dots of pink towards the lower area of the circle density of dots is high on the lower side and few dots on the other area so that is what you need to repeat for all the circles that you have if your circle is not wet enough you can again wet the area with the help of clean water these are very simple flower even if you are a beginner if you want to start with the watercolor painting you can definitely try these flowers these are quite simple flower and you can paint these easily I 
I think I am satisfied with the flowers. Now I can add few more leaves here and there with some different shade of green to just finish this flower. add a simple message in it i'm not good in calligraphy so i'm using pencil to write something in it so i have so i'm using a very simple message be brave and uh, i'm using pen brush do it slowly if you are not good at it you can write any message whatever you like That's it we are done with the first one now let's move to the second one second one is also very very simple so let's start with the second one so for the second one I'm using brown color and purple color so I have mixed brown and purple color together to make different shade of brown color and I'm adding dots like this to create ovary of the flower So I want 4 to 5 flowers so I am adding 4 to 5 ovaries as of now with the brown shade. Now with the help of yellow color add petals. So I am adding petals like this. These are very simple petals. So I'm applying little pressure into my brush and creating petals like this on the lower area. I'm also adding little brown shade in the yellow color. From the ovary itself so that I can get something like this. Also add some dots of yellow as well to make flower birds. Let's add one here and I think that's enough for flowers and birds. Now let's add a little hint of brown in the birds as well and let's attach all these flowers and birds with the help of green color to create stems and leaves. So this time I'm using little dark shade of green. So I have mixed sap green and blue together. Again using tip of my brush to create stems. I'm going to apply little pressure to create leaves. This time I'm going to create little bigger leaves as compared to the first one. You can add any variation whatever you like. Very simple painting, very simple greeting card, very simple flower with very simple messages in it. I think it's quite good for beginners and you should definitely try if you are a beginner. Here and there randomly and I'm done with the flowers and leaves so let's add a message so this time i'm adding be focused so again i'm doing it with the help of pencil first so that you can rub it if needed
now let's use uh, brush pen to finish this second one as well do it slowly we are done with both the paintings that we have both the greeting cards that we have so thank you so much for watching do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me see you guys in the next video